everyone, and welcome back to Old Mod 6. Last episode, that thing took place. My zoom button is still like... I press it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so I apologize for that. Um, this episode, I actually want to do a little bit of... Um, so, so something that we've been needing to do for a while, and that is set up another Woot Factory. I don't think we need a like a really high tier, but I also want to automate um, the creation of the blocks. We've done this in the past, but we haven't set it up on this, this um, new map again. Um, another thing you might notice is these guys are very empty. I went ahead and duh, 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 hunted down what was wrong, um, and it was basically these blocks. So emerald, um, I think this is platinum, believe it or not. I thought we had platinum. No, it's tin. Okay, yeah. Um, emerald, platinum, and uranium. We need to put those into uh, some drawers. And then over here, it was also sand and uh, this stuff here. Um, so yeah, because as well, I forgot to mention, um, that sandy bee that we have, um, I hooked him up and I've already set up the honeycomb. So like all this sand that we are getting, um, I think that's from the honeycombs. I think. Sand, 512. Ooh, I need to get, um, <laughs> I need to get some storage upgrades into that guy. He's only holding our 512. We want, um, a lot more. Okay, so this is our little woot area. We have a teleporter, which is nice. And we also have the refined storage system already hooked up here. So, like, we've got everything that we need, I believe. Um, so, I imagine I'm just going to, like, try to rebuild this guy right there. Do I have many pine logs? I'm not sure what our, what we're looking at here. Um, I've got enough. I've got enough. I don't have an insane amount, but, you know, we have enough to work with. Um, am I going to do something similar to this? If I'm honest, I, I don't know. Hmm. What I honestly could do... Hmm. I, I, I'm trying to debate, like, do I want to just, um... Build up around this and, like, stack these? Is this in a chunk? It is. Maybe I want to do that. You know, I, I... I think I do. But you might notice I kind of want to bring this back one. Because then it will line up perfectly. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm going to chop this back one. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a, in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I've moved it back one, and what this lets me do is, I might have to replace that guy, but I can now build all the way up through here, and we can just place another level on top, because this um, root farm that we have currently is a max tier, so we don't need it to be any bigger than this, um, which I think this has worked out pretty well. It might not look perfect, but I think it, it, it'll look good. It'll, it'll, it'll look all right, I guess. Maybe good is a bit too generous, but it'll look like something, you know? Um, how much gap do we want at the top? Because I could just place it, like, here. Is that a bit too low, though? Yeah, maybe I go one higher. Alright, so that's the platform where our factory is going to go. Um, but obviously we need to automate the actual, the other stuff, right? So I'm guessing, might not look too bad to, like, do it over here. In, oh, I kind of want to move the receiver, but that'll require rewiring everything. I don't want to do that. Um, oh, that's a bit annoying. Um, so here are, the, here are the things we need for a tier one uh, root farm. We need like um, a primary base, a heart, a uh, canadus cell, ingredient importer, loot exporter, a uh, amaranth block, a factory connector, and a perk slot. Some of these we need two of and, and whatnot, but if we auto-craft all this stuff, we should be pretty good. Now, some of them we have auto-crafted, and as you can see, some of them we don't. Like this guy, we don't have machine casing, needs what? Stygian iron plates, which... We have these. I think this is all auto-crafted. Even these plates. I think this is auto-crafted. I'll have to double-check. Um, is it? Hmm. It looks like it's not. But I feel like it should be. So, let me go ahead and check out the recipes. We might just have to add the pattern back in. Maybe it changed or something. Okay, so um, there's an interesting recipe here. You can either use a YA hammer to get three of these. Or you can not. I'm going to do the one that doesn't, because I think this lets me automate it a bit better, because we don't need to have the hammer in there, and the recipes get a bit weird when you use, like, a, a hammer, for instance. Um, that They try to request, like, multiple hammers, and that just doesn't work. Um, so we make that dust pretty easily, then we just smelt it. That, that's, honestly, a very easy fix. Um, hmm. <laughs> where, where do I put this stuff? Let me also say, having this stuff over here is very nice. Oh, someone's turned my um, furnaces into... Uh, pumpkins. Um, I'm going to place that in there, and that should be good. Now I believe I can auto-craft these plates. Let me order one. And there it is. That Honestly, not that long at all. Um, I'm curious, though, because some of these recipes do use the hammer. Yeah, see, it wants more hammers. I don't know how to avoid that, um, that issue. Possibly... Hmm... 
Hmm. Uh, like, here's what I'm thinking. We could set up a um, auto-crafted uh, mixer. So, like, a mixer constantly um, set up over there with a hammer constantly in it. Do you think that's a good idea? I think... I think we could do that. The, the other thing, though, is there's probably, like, a crafter we could get. Like, a... Um, fabricator? Hmm. We can push the results into adjacent fabricators. No. I reckon one of these crafters from uh, RF Tools could probably do it. Should we get... In, in fact, I think we have one that we were using for um, Essence, but we haven't done that for a while, so... We could probably just pick this up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see exactly how this is going to work. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, and I don't know if it's going to work well. I'm going to place the crafter here. Uh, he probably needs power, so we'll go ahead and give him some power. That's a flux plug. What is that? Oh, oh my god. I thought that was like a massive thing in the background. My, my scale was all off. Um, this can be zero. That's fine. So the crafter's charging. That's all good. Inside of this guy, can I just paste in the recipe for those um, plates? That's what I want to see. Like, if I click this, does it... Okay, it does paste it in. Okay. Um... Okay, press apply to the recipe to craft it. Okay, oh, so I've got to click on, like, this part, this recipe. Then I click on the plate, and I click apply. Okay, that that works, that works. Um, then I think we get, obviously, a crafter. I guess we'll slap a diamond one on. Um, we're going to need our YA hammer. I'm going to place the crafter here. We're going to have to... Oh, it actually placed facing down. That, that is perfect. Okay. We're going to place the hammer in here. I'm going to do... Um, <laughs> Let me get the other bits as well. Alright, so I'm going to place all the recipes... Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. Um, I wanted to... Well, if I click remember, does it... Oh, it does actually remember it in these um, slots here. So I'm confused. Is this the output slot? Did that count as it crafting it? It did, because I got the plate. Oh, okay. So no, I don't want that. Um, do I? Do I want to leave this like that? Potentially. Alright, I think the, the YA hammer and the plate die just remain. So I think if I click um, remember this... Wait, we'll do forget. Then remember. So now it's remembering these iron ingots go here, these Stygian ones. Plate die there. YA hammer there. Let's turn this to ignored. I think that should craft. Should it not? Or do these need to go back in there? Ooh. Oh, I have a hunch that they do, don't they? Yeah, okay. All right, all right. That's um, that's still fixable. We can we can definitely we can arrange something here. We can definitely do that. O honestly, I'm probably gonna have to use integrated dynamics. So I I apologize for what you're about to witness, but we're, we're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to use um an item interface, and I'm gonna need to use an item do, 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 uh, exporter. All right, so I'm gonna have an item interface say at the bottom, um, an item exporter on the side here. Then I believe what I want to do... Well, we'll open these to just get a, rem a remembrance of uh, how this works. Um, export that. Okay, 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 yeah. So I'm going to grab the YA hammer, as well as the plate die. I'm going to go into our logic programmer. We're going to click on... Uh, I believe we're going to do list. So we're going to type list, click on this. We're going to click add. It's an item list, so that's fine. We're going to put the hammer in here. We're going to add an extra one, and we're going to put the plate die in there. And then we're going to grab that on a variable card. So that's our list. Beautiful. This list will then go in here as an export items. Like such. And I think that works. Let's see. If I place these in here. Okay, the plate die worked. The YA hammer hasn't worked yet though. Why is that? But look at that. The, like the plate die did. Very interesting. Um... In fact, oh no, it did work. Okay, I was going to say, like, the plate die is also leaving a gap. Yeah, this works. Okay, beautiful. That was the, one of the easiest setups we've ever done. Um, then I want to do an importer, just a normal one, to import into our system. This guy is going to be on a whitelist for um, Stygian and Iron Plates. And there we go. This guy is now almost finished being auto-crafted. All I need to do is find the previous recipe we had. Which, oh, this might look, this might take a little while. I need to find the previous uh, Stygian plate doohickey. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to take that guy out. I'm going to place him back in here. And we're going to change this recipe so that it is literally just Stygian iron ingot equals um, this. Oh, we got to do processing. Oh, God. Um, so this guy and then doo -doo -doo, Stygian 
um, and the ingot. So ingot equals plate. That's all we need. Ingot equals plate. We're going to run back over here, and then we'll do a couple test runs because we've seen in the past, we think it works. It looks like it should work, and then I've done something wrong. So let's go ahead and order um, 10 plates. Sounds, sounds easy enough. Um, another thing I think I can do is... Oh, that's that's fast enough. This is on slow mode. This does not need to be any faster. Look at how good that is. Beautiful. That's that's honestly... That's nice. Uh, I could end the episode right now and I'd be happy. <laughs> um, but we're, we're not done yet. Sadly, we're not done yet. Um, I'm going to head over to the Woot area. Uh, now, I don't have to do the auto crafting here, I guess. Um, but I kind of feel like we should. I, I, I feel like we should. So... In terms of the heart, this guy's pretty much done, right? The casing, the, the, the plates are done and all that. We just need to add the overall recipe. What about the primary base? This guy needs dye plates. Um, and if you remember, we were messing around with dye plates. Um, how do we end up doing it? Let's search... Um, first off, let's see. Do we have the dye thing here? No, we don't. So I'm going to search um, Woot. I'm going to have to grab our backpack out. Because this guy has a bunch of stuff in him, doesn't he? Um, so I'm going to need to grab specifically... Injection press, dye liquefier, enchant liquefier, and another injection press. And I think that's mainly it. Um, some of this stuff's duplicates that we're not going to be using, but some of it's also not. All right, so first and foremost, the dye liquefier. Um, I believe what we did here is we set up a hopper on top. Um, so up here. Then I think, well, I think we had this all entangled, but we might not need that anymore. Um, hmm. do, 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 do. What do you think? What do you think? What should we do? I reckon we... Oh, <laughs> that is very spooky without sounds. Is that a giant slime bee? I'm not sure. Um, we can still try with the hopper. Uh, mm, I'll see if we can get it working without the hopper. Because I, ideally, we wouldn't have to use the hopper. So, I'm going to grab a crafter. Um, we can just use a normal one, I think. I don't think there needs to be speed here. That guy's going to go there. We'll um, hook him up, I guess. No harm there. Um, and then... <laughs> We need to add a recipe for dye fluid. So I'm actually going to get a pattern grid over here. Um, if I can, that is. Alright, pattern grid is made. I'm going to search um, pure dye. Okay, pure dye fluid. So we're going to change this to processing. Um, we're going to place the fluid as an output. And we are going to be making... I'm not entirely sure yet, but we can edit that later. So we're going to be making some fluid. That's essentially it. Next, we're going to um, figure out exactly how much we're going to make, I guess. So I think from memory, we use black dye, because that does red, yellow, and blue. And then we just add white dye. So I guess we'll do that. We'll search black dye. What were we using for black dye? I don't quite recall, if I'm honest. It's possible we were using a dye plate. So let's um press U on this. I think we were using a dye plate. Hmm. Um, dye plate. Let's drag a... Oh, wait. What happened to my recipe? Is it because I didn't have a pattern? What? Huh. Wait, is it still in there? No, it's not. What? Did I accidentally change out of processing? I, I, I don't really know what I've done there, but I've clearly done something. Let's um add this back in there. Um, clear this. All right, I'll, I'll set up this pattern. Okay, so I believe we need three black dye per one white dye. Um, so we'll do that. I think that should be good enough. We can just add this pattern. We can obviously edit this guy. And, uh, honestly, we probably should and change the white dye plate to be an actual white dye because we have like unlimited bones from the Woot Farm and that can make white dye. So that's probably the better idea. Um, so there we go. Um, that's somewhat good. Um, I just need to figure out exactly how much we're getting. So injection press is going to go... Honestly, you can probably go right next to it and we'll just set up some fluid pipes. All right, so this guy's empty now. That's that's the main thing I wanted to do. I'm going to go ahead and break this pipe just so that we can uh, see exactly how much this guy makes. Then I'm going to I'm going to grow. Hmm. I need to make those um the black dye pl plates. Unless how else can I get black dye? I we get it from squids, right? Oh wait, no, we can. Oh, we can just craft it with this. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, th this is a lot easier. Give me a second. Um, we need to edit this recipe to not do black dye plates, but to use just black dye. Three of them. Okay, that's updated. Then I'm going to need another pattern. Um, let's see if it lets me edit these again. And we're going to do the recipe for black dye, which is this. Like that. Okay, we are perfect. 
Okay, so let's see exactly how much we get. I'm going to put the white die in. Actually, from memory, this sort of takes... Oh, no, it's not too long. Um, so what do we have? We currently already have um, the blue... So, so we've essentially got the equivalent of one black die in there already. So I'm now going to put in the other remaining two. And we can see exactly how much liquid this makes. So 48. Then we go to the 72. And that makes... It doesn't tell me. I think it auto-outputted. Really? I mean, it's not the end of the world, but... I, I guess that's good to know. Okay, it makes 288 millibuckets. So, we're going to chuck the recipe back in wherever I put it. We're going to grab this recipe. Here we go. Um, place it back in here. And we're going to change this liquid to be 288, right? 288. Oh, 288. There we go. Click set. There we go. We can update this. And that should be perfect now. Now what that means is if we go ahead and place the injection press next to it. It'll... Oh, wrong injection press. Um, this one. It will autofill, right? To, to, to some extent, it'll autofill. Um, and this guy now needs to be autocrafted. Or, you know, have a crafter on him. Okay, so now we need to make some more patterns. Um, for each die, essentially. Um, am I not able to... Are these not synchronized? Let me get some, some synchronized happening. Pattern. There we go. Okay, so I've made a bunch of patterns here. Um, so they can all go in there. And that should be pretty much it. I, what I might need to do is actually get an importer on the top of this guy as well. Um, but once again, that's that's just an easy fix. Slap this guy on, place that, and that should be good. We should now be able to auto-craft things like, um, you know, a pink die plate. I should be able to click this, and it will make it. Um, another thing, well, w w we have a few options that we can do. What? Hmm, actually, no, we don't. Um, hmm. You know what? I, I actually do have an idea. I'm going to go ahead and get um, doo -doo -doo, an external storage. Th this is going to sound a bit weird, but hear me out. Place it on the side of this guy. I'm going to change the... Um, you know what? Place it on the top of this guy. I'm going to then change it to be on fluids. Um, and what we're going to do... Uh, is this what I can do? Maybe. Um, I'm going to set this to be... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What, 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 what's the fluid called? <laughs> the dye fluid. I'm going to set that as the filter, right? Priority 10. So maximum priority. Um, uh, hmm. We'll do insert and extract. I don't think it matters though. I guess I can do extract only. That, that might work. Um, and whitelist. That's important. That's very important. Okay. Then what I think I might be able to... Now, I don't know if I can do this, but it's just an idea I had. Um, possibly I can put the fluid in this requester. And it will request the fluid? No. It, it quite clearly does not seem to be doing that. Hmm. Um, I don't know what to do then. Can I place a... No, I can't place a regulator in here. Um, okay, new idea. New plan. We get an exporter. Right? We place the exporter on the side here. This guy is told... Um, to get this uh, dye fluid. Boom, 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 boom. Dye fluid. Uh, fluid mode. Dye fluid. Perfect. Um, <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. As you can see, new change of plan already. This guy is going to go back to what he's doing. He's going to be set on fluid mode. Um, he's going to be... Insert an extra... Uh, he's going to be extract only. That should be fine. He, 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 that should be good to go. Um... Then what we're going to do is set this guy, fluid mode, import this uh, pure dye fluid. This guy can extract, I don't think that's an issue. And that should be good. Th this should work, I think. And then what I was thinking we could do is get a crafting card, a crafting upgrade, slap this guy in here, I guess as well as a regulator upgrade, and we can say keep like, um, what, how much can this guy hold? We can say keep 4,000 um, millibuckets. So change this to be 4,000. Click set. So four four buckets worth. And I I think that's good. I, I think this should work. All I got to do is uh, hook it up, obviously. So we get some cables. Da -da 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 -da. Um, and I guess we can just do that. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. Shall we? Um, well, first of all, it should already be crafting it, shouldn't it? Right? Isn't that the whole point of this guy? He should have been like, oh yeah, we, we need the pure, pure dye fluid. Yeah, get crafting. Let's see. 
Did it show up in here? No. Why didn't it show up there? <laughs> I don't understand. You know what? It, um, it doesn't look like that's how this works. It's just... Oh, but, oh, actually, it has the fluid in it. So it must be working. Th this is more than we started off with, right? Yeah, it is working. Okay. Just maybe we're not catching it in the act? Machine doesn't accept fluid. Ah, oh. It's clearly worked to, to at least some extent. We've somehow gotten an extra little bit in there. I, I say we, we come back, check on it later, because clearly some part of it's working. Um, so, okay. That, that's fine. This, this part is, in theory, working. Possibly. I hope. Um, ooh. The other thing would be... Um... You know what? Uh, I don't think this is worth it. I don't think this is worth it. And I'll tell you why. Each of these recipes already tries to get the fluid. So I think that's just how we'll keep it. I think that's fine. I think I can... Uh, uh, duh, 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 duh. Let me just place this guy. Um, let me just say as well. Uh, I, I think this is sort of being proven here. I don't think these guys interact with crafters the way that they should. Um, evident by the fact that I've just re requested some of these guys to be crafted, and they're, they're, it's just not happening. It's quite simply not happening. Machine doesn't accept fluid. Well, you're not meant to be putting the fluid in. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not meant to... Hmm, that's a problem. Alright, we're, we're, we're pretty much trying this again, by the way. That, that That's essentially all that's happening here. Um... As for whether this is the play, having ex an external storage, I still don't really know. Um, this guy, I think, can push liquids out. We'll see if that works. Um, and then the only thing left is the crafting upgrade and stuff. Change this to fluid and get our die. Th this is turning out to be a little bit trickier than I had have, had have hoped. Um, okay, another thing is it doesn't appear to be putting items into the crafter. Like It's not putting the stuff in, but I feel like it should be, but it's not... I, I don't know. I don't know. It could be a visual bug. That's definitely possible. I'm thinking that we need to move our crafters back though and have them go into a hopper like we originally had. I think that's just what we have to do. So um, let me sort my inventory real quick. There we go. Just so that, you know, nothing is all over the place. Hopper there. Place this recipe in. That might work now. Yeah, look, that, that's already just working perfectly. Okay. Um, so we're going to probably have to do the same here. So we might as well do it already. Um, da -da 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 -da. place the crafter back here and get another hopper. All right. Um, you might also notice that it's not taking the liquids out, so it's clearly not working. Um, so the external storage thing, that doesn't work. Instead, what are we going to do? Instead, do -do 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 -do, we're going to crash or we're going to disconnect or something. Maybe, yeah, I think there might be a server restart. Alright, so I've gone ahead and placed this guy next to it uh, to grab the fluids out, and it automatically did it. Like, it automatically sucked out the fluids. I'm not sure why or how, but it did. Um, now, I could just have, you know, this one be there, and they sort of go into one another, but I don't know how that works in terms of, um, like, this system. I don't... I'm not entirely sure how it all works. So what I'm going to do instead is place an external storage here, um, set this guy up to be fluids, and do um, extract only. And I thought that would work. I thought he would then extra... Oh, it looks like it worked. It's down to two buckets. It might just be um doing a little bit at a time. Oh, this guy has some. Okay, so this guy's full. And then this guy should get enough to be, what, one bucket's worth? Yeah, one bucket. Beautiful. How nice is that? Um, so we can add... We, we can make that more. Let's make this uh be the four buckets, right? So it should try and do that. And yeah, so this system, I think, is pretty much automated. Actually, I think I might need to go through here and replace all these recipes to remove their um, the fluid part. Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so I think I should be crafting it now. Uh, although... Okay, so, so the... Wait, wait. The plates have gone here, but they're just not importing? Really? Isn't that all it needs? It just needs a plate? Yeah, that's all it needs. Okay, so we've got, uh, we're in a bit of a pickle. We're in a bit of a sticky situation here where, where this doesn't work the way that I intended it to. Okay. Um, I imagine maybe the hopper has to be on top because the hopper is connected, right? I think, yeah, you can see it down there. It's connected. Um, okay. I, I mean, I guess that's fine. We'll just, uh, 
awkwardly rearrange everything, shall we? All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, that works. Beautiful. That's all we need to see. Um, so I'm going to craft one of each of these. And it can definitely back up. Not necessarily in this aspect. Like, this part's pretty quick. But, like, uh, actually making the die can be a little slow. So I want to have a backlog of these already crafted for me. And, and like, just waiting. So I'm going to actually head back. And we're going to use the requester um, in our base. Because, actually, I quite like it. It's, uh, it's definitely pretty cool. So this guy here. And I'm just going to put one of each of those uh, die plates on it. So, I'm going to place one of each of these, and it should then keep 16 of them stocked up just in my system. Um, so, we're, we're, we're getting there in terms of automation um, of this uh, Woot system. I, I do want to get all of it done. I, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it all done. What we have left is the enchanting side. And the enchanting side's a little bit trickier because obviously we need enchantment books, right? Um, so, injection press. Right, here it is. It's beautiful. It's already got a bunch of liquid in it as well. Um, so actually, I think I want the liquefier, right? Yeah, enchant liquefier. We're going to leave a gap and place our injection press. Um, so then what do we want to do here? I mean, the enchant liquefier, it just gets enchantment books. It doesn't get um, much more crazier than that. Um, so we'll take one out so that we can hopefully apply some filtering. We're going to need an exporter. Um, we're going to need a chest, or what, uh, a hopper, sorry, um, one of these. So we'll do the same as what we were doing over there, sort of. Hopper, um, exporter, open this guy up, place in an enchantment book, and turn off exact mode. I think that means it won't only get enchantment books with shimmer and capacity, it will just get any enchantment book. I think that's how it works. Like, I should be able to chuck this guy in there, and he'll turn himself into liquid, assuming there's enough room. Um, so that's good. Next we place, well, to be honest, I think we can just get away with placing the press right here. And that will automatically output, I think, once again. Not really sure. Alright, the next thing we need is the crafter again, and I believe probably another hopper. So, once again, we'll, we'll slap it on top, we might as well. Um, do, 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 do. Let's uh, cable this over here. Alright, so this is hooked up. Um, this will have the patterns for... Do, do, do. I'm not entirely... Liquid Enchant... Oh, oh, oh god. I'm opening OneDrive. I'm... I, I, oh my god. <laughs> I pressed the wrong thing. Um, what is Liquid Enchant used in? It is used in Injection Press to make... Oh, you can actually make enchantment books? Random Enchantment 4. Oh, th these are some really cool things here. Hold on. Hmm. Interesting. So, so I'm mainly after these guys. So the, mag the Magus Plate... Magus plate, yeah. Um, the neophyte plate and the adeptus plate. But these books are very interesting. I wonder if you could somehow get more enchantment back than you put in. Do you think that's the case? I very much doubt that, but that would be cool to to test, I guess. So I'm gonna place in this recipe. We're gonna get rid of the liquid enchant from these recipes. That's pretty much the important thing here, because obviously we're already automating it. So grab that and the last plate here. Get rid of the liquid enchant. Beautiful. Um, so I should be able to slap these in there, and uh, honestly, that should be good. The only thing we need to automate now is the enchantment books, which, as you can see, working like a charm. Um, how have we automated these in the past? Um, I think we possibly used an industrial foregoing enchanter. I don't entirely, I, I, I don't really know which one it was. Um, let's have a look through. Void anvil, deletes enchantments, transfer enchantments, enchantment storage, some more enchantment storage, a soul enchanter. No, I don't think it's those. Um, to do enchantment factory. That sounds pretty, pretty much it, right? Enchantment factory. Um, we'll just quickly make one apparently because that was really easy. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. um, I guess we'll place it over here. We might as well. Um, I'll dig up the floor and place some uh, wiring. All right, this guy's powered up. He's gonna need a few things it seems. So we're gonna place a cable here. We're going to get an exporter. Um, da, 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 exporter. Uh, I think we're going to need two exporters because what we need to do is put in... Oh, yeah. How are we going to do this, actually? Um, hmm. Do we want to have a crafter or do we want to have it non-stop? All right. I'll tell you what. I have a little bit of a better idea. If I place the enchant liquefier here, I think I can automatically output, push it to the left, and that should work. Um, that means we don't need the hopper system. Uh, and all we need now is two of these, I think. 
Do I th mm, how do I want to do this? You see that? What, I'm, I'm trying to get my zoom button to work. Oh, it's the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> okay, sh sure, sure. Um, anyway, anyway, we have two exporters here. One of these will be a fluid uh, exporter for, I think if we look here, um, is this going to tell me what it needs? No. I think it needs liquid XP. Let's, um, let's search XP, um, liquid. Um, that's from Requillery or whatever it is. Um, is it Essence? It might be Essence. Essence is from Industrial Foregoing. Yep. So we're going to chuck this here. Export fluids. And that should hopefully just work. Um, essence. Yeah, I mean, I think that should work. Yep, there we go. We have a little bit already. Perfect. This top guy. This is going to get, I believe, just books. So we'll just slap a book in there. Um, and that should work. I might want to grab a crafting card just... Just in case it gets to that point. By the way, I know I keep calling them crafting cards instead of crafting upgrades. I, I apologize, but I probably won't fix it. <laughs> so this should should have worked. I, I guess maybe it needs more essence. I, I'm, I'm going to hope so. Um, in which case, maybe I need some speed upgrades. All right, let's chuck speed upgrades into the liquid guy. That should, you know, hurry this along. Um, I imagine maybe when we get halfway, it'll start processing. No? I don't know. Redstone mode ignored. Okay. Does it need to be full? Completely full of essence before it starts doing its thing? Oh, okay. No, it needed like 28. I mean, hey, hey, it works. I'm, I am wondering if a stack upgrade will put the liquids in faster. I don't, I don't really know if it will, but we can try putting it in. Let's see. Is that doing anything? Okay. Yep. Stack upgrade is necessary. <laughs> stack upgrade is definitely necessary. Um, so that's going to make enchantment books. They're going to be automatically outputted into here. This guy obviously now needs um, some power connected, but that's fine. We can remove that. And so does that guy. Okay, so this should be working. All we need to do is, well, I guess test it. So let's search um, Magus. Let's um, say I would like three of you. We click craft. Let's see what happens here. Okay, the diamonds go in, then the plates go in. And I, I think genuinely, I think this is an extremely slow process. You can see it's draining power. It is just that slow. Look at that. That is phenomenally slow. Um, so, yeah, that, that's automated. Beautiful. All, I think all we have to do now is just build um, build the, the factory. So, uh, well, well, I guess I need to add some of these extra things too. Um, so let me run back to the base and just get those. Okay, I put a new crafter in the ground. These are all of the recipes I believe we need. And then accompanied with our root guide, we can click on um, basics. Uh, I believe it is factory tiers. Then we're going to need one heart, one primary base, one canada cell, one ingredient importer, and one loot exporter. So that should be relatively easy to do. All right, so that is the core of just the factory, I guess. In order to get to tier one, we need to add uh, two of these, what, amaranth blocks. We need to add two factory connectors and one perk slot. Okay, I now have everything we need, but let's try and figure out how I'm meant to place this because I clearly don't really recall how I set this up. So I think what we have the fluid in the ground. I I don't know if we want to do that the same way, but I guess I guess we can. All right, so normally you can just manually make this, but I'm sort of trying to make it identical to the one below, so I'm being a little bit manual. But I guess I could just do what? Where does the heart go? The heart goes um, one, two three, four, five, six blocks up. So let's just do this. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Was it the sixth or was it on top of the six? One, two, three, four, five. It is the six. Okay. So we're going to place a heart here, right on top. I'm going to get rid of my cables real quick. I should be able to now grab the intern. I believe it's called. Set this guy to be um, the right tier. So, Zalator Tier 1 Factory. Then I'm going to hold right-click and check out that. It crafts it. Not a valid Zalator Tier 1 Factory. Why is that? Is it possibly because... No, there is a primary base. Um, honestly, I'm not entirely sure why. Let's see. Let's, um, let's pick up the rest of this stuff again. Because I placed those down manually. Maybe that's an issue. Okay, strangely enough, it doesn't want to place down the, um, the Canada cell. And I'm not entirely sure why. Let me try this all again. 
Yeah, just it does not want to place this. Is it possible that it's too close to the one below it? I, I, I suppose it's possible. I, I'm a bit doubtful, but hey, we can always give it a try. All right, let's try this again. Let's see. No, still not valid. Very interesting. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm kind of suspicious that I just need to place a mob controller on it, like on top of this base here. So let's let's just do that to check. Um, mob controller. We have a few here. Um, what should we try and do? Let's just get like a sheep on this, right? Oh, not there. Um, a sheep right there. Okay, I think that did it. I think it's now... Yeah, found valid. Okay, okay. Was it saying found valid or found invalid before? Was I just reading it wrong? Uh, not a valid. Okay, I wasn't reading it wrong. It needs the mob controller on. Okay, perfect. Um, but obviously, we want more than just one. So, I'm actually going to see... Um, so, you can see this one supports one mob controller. This next one supports two. So, that's that's like a, a no-brainer up upgrade. The problem is, however, we're going to need all of this stuff. So, I'm actually probably going to pull out my phone here and like take some pictures. Um, just to get like, you know... <laughs> just to make it a little bit easier on myself. This is one part of like... Um, certain mods like this that I'm not really a fan of is the fact that like it's so difficult going back and forth trying to remember exactly how many oh, how many blocks do I need oh how many of these do I need oh how many of those do I need it's it gets very very tricky I, I will say that okay so I'm going to upgrade this guy to a tier 2 I've got all the stuff on me um, it wasn't too bad um, an interesting thing though was four extra perk slots despite having one here so I'm a little bit confused. Does this mean we have five perk slots? Or does the middle one just become, like, irrelevant? Oh, oh god, that's so loud. Um, hmm. So we have a perk slot there. We have a perk slot there. We have one at the back. Like, where's this fourth one? Is it literally... No, it's not there. Am I crazy? I am crazy, because we keep one. Okay, so, so the book's a little bit misleading. Um... And I'll explain why. It says now we need four blocks. Um, f like, like four perk slots. But, uh, I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. So, like, these are the initial ingredients that you need no matter what. Then this is how many you need on top of the original. Not on top of, like, the first tier. So, so yeah, it, it makes sense. It does make sense. Um, did this guy say he's valid? No, he said nothing. I'm going to assume he's valid. Um... Alright, so, so here comes the fun part. What I'm going to do is grab anything that isn't like a crazy mob. So like a creeper we can probably grab. Um, I think we have like a cow here. We can grab that. And then there's what? A skeleton. We can grab that. Okay. So these guys are going to go up here onto the secondary bases. So there, there, and here. And I think this should work. Assuming that the that it wants to. Like, why hasn't... This sort of doesn't look like it's... What? Th this needs Zalator. This needs Zalator. This needs Zalator. And this does. Okay. So, I think I think we're pretty much good. Um, and then this bottom one. This guy can take, like, um, you know, really strong mobs. So, for example, the Lightning Dragon, Enderman. <laughs> and I guess Pig, since we don't have anything else. But I, I think you get the idea. So, um, place this guy down. This guy down. And this guy down. So now we should be able to... I'll see what the ingredients require. But we should actually be farming lightning dragons. Okay, so we are. But um, I guess it's not properly impl implemented yet. Because we're not getting any of like the cool rewards. Um, it needs 18,000. We have 100,000. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, what does this guy need? Um, this guy needs 80. And we have plenty of room. Okay. Um, currently it's saying that these are the only things we're going to get. It's acting like it's not fully upgraded yet, which I'll be honest, it doesn't look like it's fully upgraded yet. Um, why is that? Did I accidentally... What is this on? It's on number two. Okay. I don't know what the problem is. I re yeah, I really don't know what the problem is. Um, it's possible that we need more of these caps. Um, oh, actually, yeah, it does. It says we needed uh, four of the caps, but for some reason I only made one of them. I do not know why that was. Um, so let's place these here. Get two more, or three more. Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's all hooked together. This should update. There we go. Beautiful. All of these possible rewards. I like it. Um, the next thing we'll need to do... Um, I'll probably just use an entangled block for this. Um, get rid of this filter. Grab the binder. Grab a block. I'm going to entangle this cap. 
or this cell, I think. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, we're going to go down here. Um, oh, actually, I think I can just right-click this guy. Yeah, there we go. That should work. So now if I come back up here, this guy now has the fluid. Beautiful. And, and he's processing. He's working. I also saw that we had some perks. What were these? Um, generate essence. Chance to drop essence? Oh, to upgrade the factory. Okay, okay. So yeah, we don't actually need those. Um, okay. So I think we're good, right? This is up and running. Maybe I can, you know, pretty up the f oh, pretty up the floor a little bit with some uh some pine. So yeah, um oh the last thing actually is um getting the items out. Uh what do we have currently? We just have a chest going into the network. Um honestly I could probably just get an ender chest. Um grab one of these ones that's hard coded. I had one on me. And that's the loot exporter. We can probably just place this guy there. And I, I think that'll work. Oop. I I think. Assuming that... Oh, yeah. I, you know what? This entire time... <laughs> let me show you what I've forgotten to do this entire time. So, off camera, I was fixing my storage, as I said at the start. And in order to do that, I disconnected this guy. So, for this entire time, our system hasn't been running. So, if I place that on now, our system's running again. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Um, but, yeah. That, that's pretty much it for this episode. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Ho hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I, I think the system works pretty well. And it's nice. It's within one chunk. So, it, you, you can't be grumpy. Um, it's all compact, it's beautiful, and all the auto-crafting is pretty much done here too. There's a few recipes, obviously, that we're crafting back at the base, um, but all of the, like, the liquid management's here. We also have automated, um, you know, this stuff, which I think is working. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, we, good thing we checked back here. We need an importer, um, right there. Does that work? Yes! Beautiful! Okay, okay. What I'm gonna do as well is, um, what are the, yeah, I'm gonna get like one, at least one of each of these so that I can um, have them auto-crafted and maintained it in, in my requester. Um, so like th these initial crafts are going to take a very long time, but once they're done, um, hopefully it'll be a bit better. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm, I'm happy we got this done. I've been meaning to do it for a little while and it's nice to sort of like check things off. Like, whew, we've done the weird stuff. We probably don't have to worry about it for a little while, um, hopefully. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, is that everything? I think it is. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. It helps out my channel quite a bit. Um, and if you like the video, you can do that as well. Um, thank you to the people supporting the channel financially. I thought I saw something weird. Um, that is Skeletor Jacob, Oathus, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, and V Rifty supporting me financially through uh, various donation links in Discord and whatnot. Um, and then we have Takulist, V Rifty, and Mugs, who are channel members here on YouTube. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for uh, supporting me. Um, in regards to the last video, I had someone comment, um, about the spoiler being like this in the thumbnail. Also, this looks like he, oh no, he has a filter. I guess it's nighttime, so the soul is not on. Um, saying like, oh, the, it's a spoiler, but being able to like see what the end result was. I do agree. I, originally I was going to make the thumbnail be this, like showing this interface, showing like almost infinite capacity and stuff for the last episode. But I thought that was probably a little bit, almost more of a spoiler. You know what I mean? Like looking at it, obviously, you know. I don't know, it's, it's cool to look at and stuff, and it's a little bit of a surprise, um, but I think the real surprise is the fact that it's literally an almost infinite storage. Like, right now, we have over 4 trillion power stored, and it's 0%. We haven't even got one, a single percentage yet. That is phenomenal to me. Oh, did you see that? It went up to a million years. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I just thought I'd comment on that a little bit. Otherwise, I didn't know what to put in the thumbnail for the, for the last video. I, I, I think it's alright there. Um, so I think that's it. That's, that's the end of the episode, maybe. Let's uh, sleep. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.